Hi, in this video we're going to be going through an application and interpretation SL question, question three from paper one, time zone one, May 2024. All right, so let's begin. This is a arithmetic, no, sorry, geometric sequence question. And the way we know that this is a geometric sequence question is that they're telling us that, well, it's a geometric sequence where R is 1.1. So very telling there. All right, so in this question, January 2025, the company releases a new car and they tell us what R is and they tell us that they, they ask us, they wanna find out how many cars will be sold in 2025. First, you have to know, of course, the number of cars sold in the beginning. And so we see here that in January, there were 40 cars sold. So from January to December, there are 12 months. So there are 12 terms. So in order to answer A, we're going to use from our formula sheet, the formula UN equals U1 times R to the N minus one. All right, so we know that the starting number of cars was 40, and we know from the question that R is 1.1. And from January to December, as we said, there are 12 terms, and so 12 minus one, and that will tell us the number of cars sold in December. So when you calculate that, you're going to get 114.12, but, of course, we cannot sell 0.12 of a car. That would be weird, so we have to round. So we sold 114 cars. So it's like that 0.12 car is still in the process of being sold, not yet sold. So we round down, so 114 cars. All right, so the next part of the question, B1, wants to know the total number of cars sold in the whole year. So January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Now it'd be, it would be a lot to calculate all 12 months or to calculate the other 10 months that we don't know yet. But we do have an equation for some, and that's what we're going to use. So from, from your formula sheet, you'll see the equation SN equals U1 R minus one r to the n minus one over r minus one. All right, you see two versions of the formula. This version is the version we want to use. The reason is you can avoid some negative signs because r is 1.1, r is bigger than one, and so r being bigger than one allows us to not have any negatives when we're subtracting one. All right, so let's go ahead and plug it, what we know into this formula. U1 is the first term, so that is 40 because that's the number of cars we started with. R is 1.1, and then number of terms is 12. Minus one in the formula. Again, 1.1 minus one. Now, if you're plugging this into the calculator in one shot, you wanna make sure that you have parentheses in the right place and that your calculator is reading this correctly. So we have a fraction here. Just make sure you have parentheses around the entire top and around the entire bottom. So you're opening your parentheses, typing 40, opening another parentheses, 1.1 raised to the 12th power minus one, then close both parentheses and then put that all over. Open your parentheses and put that in. If you do that, you don't have to worry about entering multiple things into the calculator to find your answer here. All right, once you do that, your answer should be equal to 855 cars. All right, so that is the number of cars sold in 2025 in all, that's all 12 months. Now they're asking for the number of cars sold in 2026, but we don't have the first term for 2026. We do, however, have the last term, 114, for 2025. So this, remember, is December 2025. If we take that number, we can find January for 2026. So let's write this down. This is not what they're asking for, but we do need this information. Oops, 26. All right, so we know December was 114, and we know that the following month will be that number 
times our common ratio, which is 1.1. So this is multiply here. When we multiply, we get 125 cars. So this is the number of cars sold in January 2026. Once we have our first term for 2026, everything is just like the last question we did. So we're doing the sum for 2026. And we use the same formula, u1 r to the n minus 1 over r minus 1. And so now u1 is not 40 anymore since we're now in 2026. There are more cars being sold. There are 125 being sold in January. So 125 and everything else is the same. And again, remember to set this up with your parentheses and the calculator. And once you calculate that, you should get that in 2026, there were 2,673 cars sold in all. And so this company is growing. They're doing a good job. All right, so stay tuned as I continue to go over more questions from this paper. All right, have a good one.